So I was going to do this peanut butter grilled peanut butter air fry peanut butter. We're going to do both. And that was a video I was going to do. But then I kept thinking about the burrito tacos. I really enjoy burrito tacos. You guys know I've been on a brand page over these tacos. And I spent hours making the burrito taco video. And I wasn't 1000% on the recipe. Tasted good. But I felt like I could make it better. Me personally. I was using a recipe out of a book. And I basically put together my own recipe. So, and then I thought, you know what? That took a long time to prepare and do and all that stuff. I'm going to create a lazy man's version. Okay? So, today we're doing lazy man burrito tacos. And I hope these are going to be better than the ones I made in the last video. Let's see what happens. Come on in close and I'll show you all the stuff that I thought would taste good. This is what I love about the show because I can do whatever I want. And sometimes you make a recipe and it's good, but it's not great. You want great, you get to redo it again. So this is kind of a redo to the burrito tacos, but we're doing a lazy man's version. And the way we're going to do it, we're going to take all these ingredients and throw them in the same pot. And then we're just going to simmer that for three hours. And no, no stages, no treatment, no difficulties. And then, uh, you know, I'll give you the steps. This is going to be the easier version, okay? If you've never had burrito tacos, they're amazing. I warn you, they are addictive. Be careful. They're awesome. It's like the Mexican French dip. I absolutely love it. So it's the only thing I order now. It's crazy. But anyway, let's run down these. So I got, I got two cans of Rattel. Got some frozen carrots from the freezer section. I got some beef. It's kind of chopped up, uh, stew meat. And then I've got the dried chilies really were great. We're going we're gonna to work with those again today. And then onions, garlic, chipotles and adobo sauce, and beef broth. I'm using all this beef broth. I've got taco seasoning. I've got smoked paprika, which I absolutely love. And I've got chili powder, of course. And what would a Hispanic dish be without cumin? So I'm using cumin, oregano, salt, pepper, and I believe that's all I need. And all this is going to go in one pot. We're going to simmer it all together and see how it turns out. All right. So I don't know what came over me. I came up with this idea. I have no idea. I want the chipotle... I don't want the chipotles. I want the adobo sauce that's in here. The adobo sauce that's been in the chipotles is already a little spicy. I don't want the chipotles. So I want to pull the chipotles out, but get all the sauce out of here too. So we're going to open this up and put it in a bowl. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Put this in a bowl. All that beautiful sauce. Okay, take this, open it up. So I'm like, how do I get the chipotles out? So I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the broth, fill the bowl up. That'll get all the flavor of the sauce like that. Just a little bit, not all your broth. Just a little bit and let it soak for a little bit. And let all the sauce get into the broth and get the chipotle peppers out like that. Got it? So now let me go get something to get these out. And uh, you can see the skins, you can see everything, see? So I'm literally just taking the sauce out of the can by doing it this way. Pretty smart, huh? I'm pretty proud of myself. All right, guys, I don't know if you realize I'm still using the rock cookware and it's like the day I bought it. This is the best cookware. If you don't know how to get it, Sam's Club usually carries it inside their store or they carry it online. It's still one of the best values. A little over $100. I got like a 12 piece set. It's amazing. I have never had it. Still, look at it. Look at it. It still looks like the day I bought it. Amazing. So. Let's get this thing started, okay? So let's let's start with the broth. I'm literally, once again, 
I'm pouring everything in here. So let's start with the broth. So here's the rule. If you don't like Rotel, I like it because it has a li little bit of extra stuff inside to give it more flavor. But you can use crushed tomatoes. If you don't like Rotel, just get cans of crushed tomatoes. Put my Rotel in there. Okay. Put that in there. There we go. Wow, I didn't even think, is this gonna be big enough? I may have to move it to a bigger pot. Ironically, this pot is also <laughs> from The Rock. I bought it from the same company. It's been good to me, I love it. I like the turquoise color. Everything's been moved into this pot, okay? So we're up to the meat. We just put the Rotel, the beef broth, the, uh, all the good stuff. Now, let's go ahead and dump our vegetables in. Now I got onions and carrots in here, see? We're dumping those all in. Now this is the Chipotle's in adobo sauce liquid. So we're dumping that in. Okay, here's garlic cloves and seasoning. All your seasoning that I showed you at the beginning of the show. We're dumping that in. How's it looking so far? And then we're gonna add, gonna add some water in here too to bring the level up a little bit. So you wanna bring this to a boil. So start with a medium high, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna drop it to a simmer for three hours. This is the only hard part in this Lazy Man recipe. You're gonna take these peppers and let them sweat and cook in here a little bit. And we're gonna lay them in. All the peppers, get them under, right on the top, so we can get them out later. Okay. I think we use 10 peppers, so we're gonna top the whole thing with 10 peppers, and about an hour into this, we're gonna pull the peppers out, blend them up, it's gonna be a kind of a slushy, and put it back in, kind of like as a base to the gravy. This looks absolutely beautiful. Bring it to a boil, and at some point we'll pull those peppers out, blend them, pour it all back in here, okay? Now those have been seeded and de-stemmed. So anyway, that's the case, and I will see you in an hour to get the peppers out. It's been one hour. I'm just gonna take a look at it. Now as you can see, the peppers are still on top, so I can easily grab them. So I'm gonna bring a bowl over here real quick. And I believe I had 10 of them. So let's see, one, there we go, two. So I pulled out all the peppers, there's a piece of onion, I don't care if it blends up. You're gonna blend this up, chop it up, puree it, get it really kind of smooth and creamy, okay? These peppers that have kind of rehydrated a little bit and then bring them back here. We're gonna pour them back in to the mix and grab a little liquid to go with this bowl so, so that it blends easy and smooth. So just steal some of the liquid. And this is what it should look like when you puree it. Pour it back in. If you don't want to come out, put a little liquid in there, swish it around. Put it back in. And it'll start falling out. A little liquid, swish it around. Put it back in. There we go. Now this makes, you can see the, the beautiful color it, it adds to your gravy or your sauce or your stew, whatever you call calling this. This is the dip. All right, guys, I just want to tell you, see how it looks right now? That's what I'm used to. It's got a darker, richer, a little greasier. It looks like what I'm used to in restaurants. This seems to be turning out really well. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. Let that all heat up. Maybe a little more. There we go. Kind of shove that around. Let that oil heat up. And then we're going to fry our tortillas in the oil. Put a little cumin in the pan. 
okay? That will cook into your tortillas. It's amazing, all right? Go ahead and let that, there we go. Let that fry for a little bit. All right, give it a quick flip after a minute. Let it fry on that side. Then we're gonna fold it in half and let it finish frying in a taco shape, okay? All right, it's that time to cook. Yeah, it's got time, you gotta fold it like that, okay? Just leave it like that, let it toast that side. Then we'll flip it, toast the other side. And now it's stuffable. That is how you fry a tortilla. There's many other different ways to do it. That's how I do it. Okay, so some of you got confused because I didn't show you every single step. So I'm going to show you right now. Ready? This mixture that I strained out is the meat and the vegetables. That's going to go into the taco. This liquid right here is beautiful goldness. It's almost like gold. That's what I'm dipping in. And that's topping off the taco. And I might throw some sour cream on there too. So let me make these up and I'll show you the final product. And then we'll try it out. So basically, I'm going to take one of these tacos, I'm going to dunk it in the juice, and I'm going to try it out. Are you guys following me so far? Don't want to lose anybody. Fried the tortillas, stuffed them with goodness, going to dunk them in gold. I got a big pot of broth. I got a big bowl of meat and veggies. I got a bunch of tortillas fried up. It's going to be a party tonight. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to try this out now. Here we go. Fully loaded, cheese falling everywhere. This goodness. Get this all dipped in there. Alright guys. Yep. Took it up a notch. Use flavors I like. That smoked paprika, the chili powder, the I put a lot of stuff in here that I would like to have tasted the first time around. I finally got it the second time around. That's all I can say. I got great flavors in the meat and the vegetables. It was beautiful. Lazy man, easy. Get whatever you need. It's already chopped up meat, throw it in. You got frozen carrots, throw it in. That's the lazy part of it all, okay? And uh, if you got to go buy taco shells, instead of frying them, then buy them, all right? That's the lazy part of Lazy Man's Birra Tacos. And we did a great job. So... Anyway, you guys take care. I got the recipe down below. Alter it to your liking. I've got the instructions and everything. I love you guys. This is the hot new thing.